Hello and welcome to the Sunday Preview Rundown. Uh-oh. Yeah, um, uh-oh. Rip my wallet because I just bought Skaven Tide, as <laughs> I'm sure some of you did listening. Yeah. And, you know, that's uh, $265. And then, out of nowhere, they announced the other half of my heart, besides rats. Yeah. Because there are two halves of my heart. One half is devoted to rats. The other half is devoted to dirty hive scum beating each other with, you know, improvised weapons. And <laughs> here we are. Those are only kind of related. <laughs> or kind of unrelated? Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> so, we have Necromunda Hive Secundus. The next chapter in Necromunda, let's mm -hmm. call it that. It's not like it's a new edition. Right. I'm, I'm, they're probably not redoing the rules. It's similar to a season for, like, Kill Team. Yeah. Is what I'm basing it on. This is less analogous to uh, Ash Wastes mm -hmm. and perhaps more analogous to, uh, what was it called? The Corpse Grinder. Dark Uprising. Dark Uprising, yeah. Although not nearly as much terrain. Uh, correct. Which does bring us to the elephant in the room, which is how much is this damn thing going to cost? Looking at this, mm -hmm. there's not much terrain in here, and there's two teams. Yes. I could see this only being a $200 set. Maybe. If it's a oh, if it's a $200 set, so, I will jump okay, for joy. Well, well, 200 is now 225 or 220. Sure. 220. I could see this being their new $220 starter. That would be really nice actually, especially it comes with the rule book, two teams, two gorgeous teams. Yes, let's take a look at these. We've already talked about these at length. So we'll avoid doing it too much today. Yeah. But we can't help it. Obviously, these. I talked about how I don't like normal Gene Steelers, but I love these. Yeah, these are fantastic. And I'm, I'm a little upset that I bought the new Gene Steelers <laughs> because now I want these. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting these anyway. I'm getting these it. anyway, yeah. And then I love the new Vansar. I am interested to see how these... We still don't know how these slot into the workings of existing gangs. Right, which I'm assuming this rule book would tell us. Uh, I sure diddly hope so. <laughs> that would be very annoying if this was entirely self-contained and you had to buy a yet third rule book, although uh, that would be very Necromunda. It would be very Necromunda. Of course, comes with the rule book. Just to note, the asterisk is that it is delayed in Japan. So, not delayed in the United States or UK or anybody yeah. who actually watches this. <laughs> Here's the new terrain, the high beta stat cluster. This is usable on this board. It doesn't mm -hmm. come in the box. You'll have to buy these separately. Yeah, it's it's an in definitely an interesting looking piece. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. It's supposed to be objectives. Like, this is something you're hunting for. Gosh, this is, this that is, makes way more sense. This is specifically what the Vansar are here for. That makes way more sense. Uh, the Spires guys are here to kill bugs and have fun. Yeah, yeah, their, their whole thing is they're paying to get... Go down there and kill whatever they find. Right. Whereas the Vansars are like, okay, yeah, but we're here to actually get this crap. Yeah. Because then we'll get out and get paid. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, these look these look fine for, for like a dark, dirty, dank, delicious in dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to the new Ruined Zone Mortalis. Now, it is worth noting that they did not Dark Uprising this in that the base box does not come with any of that terrain. Correct. And I'm actually kind of happy about that because that keeps this box cost lower. That's true. And you can you can pick this up or you can pick up the other thing if you don't want this box and just the rule book. Because uh, Dark Uprising was $300 checks notes five years ago. Yes. <laughs> so and Ash Wisp was $300 yeah. two years ago. <laughs> yeah. So this is the new Rune Zone Mortalis. They do specify that this is completely uh, usable with the existing Zone Mortalis. Which is awesome. Which as somebody who has a, like six tiles built already yeah i'm very pleased about it would that. be annoying if it was like no nah, it's not compatible this is just replacing it <laughs> screw you <laughs> get out of like, here no. i particularly like the doors yeah me too where the doors have been like pried open or like this one where you can tell that a gene stealer just carved its way out of that it's so good i i love the the storytelling of the destroyed yeah. stuff it looks very good uh, and and think about the story the gameplay of like being able to shoot over those walls because mm -hmm. you they're like you could actually see through them and there's like half destroyed platforms and like falling uh, uh, rafters. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. And then we uh, get these two guys who were announced previously quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. These are Forge World Resin. They're the Proxy and the Fixer, although they're in reverse order because this guy on the left is the Fixer. Mm. Uh, the Fixer, both of these are supposed to be like go-betweens the um, Guilders, so like alliances. Yeah. So if you're not using alliance rules, see our latest Necromundown video for information on what rules you don't have to play with. Bam, bam, I'll put it in the card. But the fixer also has the fixer skill. Which is not bad. Which is not bad. So he's not a bad, he's also like really cheap. He pays for himself. I think he's like, like 20 credits? 30. 30 I credits. Think. So he pays for himself pretty quickly. It's also an absolutely amazing model. Yeah, that model is great. If I just ignore the right side of the screen there. Even if he does look like Stone Cold Steve Austin in a trench coat. 
I was thinking more Jason Statham with a an eyepiece on. Well, the problem is I I can't tell. No, he doesn't have a mustache. No, it's just the highlight on his lip. Is okay, little, I take it back. Bright. He does not. He does not look like Stone Cold Steve Austin. He does not have. Yeah, the, the highlight lip is very bright, and he looks like he's doing the frowny face, like yeah. a frog frown. It, so looks, yeah. it looks like he has a blonde mustache. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, which wouldn't be a bad look for him, honestly. No. Uh, but I love that model. I want to replace this bag with something else. Yeah, that would be very make, cool. And just use him as a, like, that would be a great Deloc. Oh, yeah, you're leader. right. That, that, oh, yeah. With a, a servo claw. Uh-huh. That would be awesome. Uh, and then, of course, we have the foppest, foppiest fop to ever fop to fop. This is the proxy. Same thing. He is uh, completely useless outside of the uh, alliance system. Yeah. But that is also a great model. I, oh, I, see, I was going to say, unlike the last one, this it, model's bad. It, it's not a bad... It's a fantastic model. It's just very silly. It is very silly. I think I would I would like it more with a different paint scheme. Like, I don't like the tan striped pants. I don't... See, the, the striped pantaloons are what... Like, first off, good luck painting those stripes. But yeah. the, the striped pantaloons are hilarious to me. See, I hate that. Uh, and the, the giant cuffs. Uh, he also has a robot hand, I just noticed. Yes. Such a douche. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is just... You can tell he's irritating to be around. If it wasn't for the, the eye being swapped, I would think this is the left guy with the wig on. Uh, the funny thing is uh, these two are boyfriends. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's a great sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> odd man. It's the odd pair. It's the yeah. odd couple, you know? It's like... <laughs> it's a Hallmark movie. One of them's a no-nonsense <laughs> businessman. The other... <laughs> Is a noble, is a noble with a robot hand. <laughs> but this Christmas, the spirit of giving will bring them together. The fixer and the proxy. And we also have a map. Woo. This is the map of the Secundus, Secundan exclusion zone. This was the hive city that got bombed. Exploded. Literally nuked from orbit. Whether or not this map is cool, it depends entirely what it's made of. True. It says it's a poster. So, if paper. This, if this is made of their usual cheap paper, um, this is bad. Like... If it's made of something nicer that you could actually hang up, I could like actually see you getting this if it wasn't too expensive. Sure. I also would prefor it to be rolled, not folded. Yeah, that's the thing. Folds never come out. No, if if they if they make this out of that paper and they fold it, it's gonna suck. Yeah. It's also one thousand millimeters. I don't know why it didn't say 100 centimeters. <laughs> because it's not as impressive. Yeah, exactly. Like or, or maybe because they're well, they know they can only use millimeters for uh miniatures players. That's true. Uh, they, they don't like anything else metric. Yeah, you put a you put a centimeter on there, and they're like, I don't understand what that is. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're done talking about good models. Right. So let's go well, into some. Okay. There's like two more good models, and I say that, that as a dwarf hater. That, that's very fair. We've got the old world release of the dwarves. I guess the theme for this is people who live underground. You know what? Fair. Oh, I, I think, think I, I think that's actually the title of the. Uh, in the underhalls and dwarves. No, no. From, from the main page. It was like oh, okay. th Delvers and stuff like that. This is the release of the Old Hammer Dwarves, or re-release rather, with some new releases as they usually do. Yeah. This is their Mountain Holds Battalion. You get 32 Dwarf Warriors, 32 Quarrelers slash Thunderers. Those warriors are the old monkey armed warriors. They are terrible looking. Yes. The Quarrelers slash Thunderers are also terrible looking. They're all plastic. You're going to notice a pattern. <laughs> and then the uh, Gyrocopter and Gyrobomber, which are the same kit, by the way, and were recently ripped out of the Cities of Sigma range. They're not horrible looking. They look fine. They're kind of cute, but... <laughs> but they died in Cities of Sigmar so they could live here. Yes, correct. And they will be more expensive. Yes, correct. Oh my god, that's going to suck. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, it, it should be noted that the rules for the regular dwarf stuff is already out in the Forces of Fantasy. Yes. It, this is just the the models and then the Arcane Journal with the extra stuff. Which comes with all the stuff you actually need to play, from what I've understood. You can't yeah. really actually play without the Arcane Journal. They've made it so That's that... so dumb. Yeah. Here's a book with all your rules. Asterisk. <laughs> Dice. Transfer sheet. Card cards. Pack. Yeah. Those are all normal. And then we get to the good models. Yeah. So you've got Ungrim Iron Fist. Those of you total War Warhammer players, this is the same guy because he's a dwarf. He lives for a very long time. So he was still alive. Just a lot younger in this era. Yeah. He has very little armor and absolutely murders everything he touches in melee because that's what he does. Cool. He, he's tragic, you see, because slayers have an oath to go get themselves killed, but he's a king, so he can't do that. Oh, poor guy. Because, you know, like he's got a responsibility to his hold. Dang. Yeah. So, so speaking of dwarf, dwarf lords with shield bearers. This model also looks great. More the thane here because you've got a lord on his shield. shield. Yeah, <laughs> being carried by three guys. I and remember they called out when they when they announced this that it used to be on two guys, but it didn't yes. look right. So yes. they added a third guy. <laughs> well, the third three legs is the most stable platform. 
Yes. <laughs> a two-legged stool doesn't work very well. It's true. This model, this model looks good. It, it's updated. It's very crisp. Uh, it is worth noting that this one's plastic. Yes. This one's forge-wheeled resin. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, forge-wheeled resin. Plastic. Nope. Uh, this one's plastic, probably because of how many parts it comes in. Yeah. And then Dwarf Thane with handgun on O-Stone, he is also resin. This is probably okay. my favorite of the bit. Really? Mostly because I just like guns. I also like that he has a big pipe. That, okay, the pipe is nice. The I like to imagine that he uses the pipe to light the gun. Fair. <laughs> or at least the same thing to light both. Yeah, or at least the same thing to light both. Lights his pipe from the smoking barrel. Just... I like the, the, the king the best so far. <laughs> and then we've got and, and classic. That will, be, that will be the best one. So, uh... Tech with using that new Rune Lord. No, we got to use the old Rune Lord. At least he's still plastic. This is the least egregious of the old dwarves, I yes. think. These aren't bad. I actually really like that big hammer. Yes, the hammer's fun. <laughs> um, he's kind of referenced like... The thing is, they have a cogsmith in Cities of Sigma. Yeah. Which was the old master engineer, but nope. This is where things start getting bad. If you notice, red hair correlates with bad model uh, from like, this I, point on. It looks like he's like got terminator syndrome where he doesn't ha have a neck it's just his oh. head is in his sh yeah that's how the old the, look look at all of them all of them look yeah but like this that. guy's especially bad he's like Ring. these aren't too bad they're kind of classic fantasy they are classic fantasy they're fine the slayer is the worst of them and you'll notice the theme because those look just god awful and you can tell they tried to apply new paint jobs to old models and it's it ain't working bro I don't, so I guess I don't understand the lore of why their hair and their beard are two different colors. So they dye their hair. A slayer has a slayer mohawk that is orange that you make your hair into a mohawk and you dye it orange. Okay. Um, but it, then you go up to the king and his beard is, I be, guess it's slightly darker. Because red. he's the slayer king, it's such in his blood that his hair is just orange. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently folks at home can't tell that i just rolled my eyes i think it Sorry. is actually just his uh, brown versus yeah brown versus the reality is because they wanted him to look better and it looks stupid if you don't do that so yeah it looks like the brown is more orange and the orange is a little less highlighted yes and it looks that one looks better if they did all of them like that they went bright bright orange for these guys yeah that's too much it's it's nearing yellow because that's how old hammer fantasy was it was the bright old colors yeah, but everything that was... doesn't mean it's good do you see no, goblin it... green on these bases no it doesn't and there's a... they, they they picked their battles and i think this one they picked poorly they did they did <laughs> i hate these um paint off the side there's just the faces like this goes yeah, they look like they're mid-transformation. The troll head on the banner looks better than any of their faces. That's true. Are these metal? So, let me see. Resin. Resin. These are all These are all not forge-wheeled resin. These are all just normal resin. So, this oh, is resin. No. Yeah. The dwarf command set comes with three resin. Yeah, it looks like they're all resin. Yes. <gasps> Sorry. Choking in my throat a little bit. Um, and then you get the classic dwarf troops. So... These are the warriors, or sorry, long beards. So these are the warriors with two hands. There's the slayers. Uh, they look like hobbits cosplaying as dwarves. They do. Like, they they don't have the proportions that the new dwarves do, and the new dwarves look way better for it. Right? Which they, is saying something. Yeah. They look very bad. And these even, are... Even those look better. Yes. Because these were uh, late Warhammer Fantasy plastics. Yeah. These were not. Correct. Or I believe, actually, were these ever plastic? I think these are metal. Probably. No, these are metal. Uh, a friend of the show, Kevin, confirmed that Slayers were never in plastic. Gotcha. So these are metal. Those are plastic. Those were in, again, those were in Cities of Sigmar until very recently right. when they were ripped out and so they could be put in here. Uh, those, I think, will be plastic. Yeah, because there are there is those the same that are in the battalion box. Oh, right. And these are plastic because they were also in Cities of Sigmar. These are your Iron Breakers slash Iron Drakes. Yep. So some stuff they recently took away and then old, old 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 models yep oh well, that's old world for you that's true but the worst is yet to come because ah. we have these guys so if you thought the <laughs> other ones were hobbits these are worse somehow what's wrong with your face <laughs> like i get that these are dwarven mercenaries so those look like keebler elves they're too fat to be keebler elves are you sure they eat a lot of cookies so these are ref these are basically dwarves who live in the empire they're not dwarven dwarves right. they're imperial dwarves or they can also be used as dogs of war, which is like the mercenary faction. They look like so bad. It looks like they're all suffering from bee stings on their faces. <laughs> like their heads are so big and puffy. 
They just got done with a fight with Sylvanath. They've all had allergic reactions <laughs> <laughs> to peanut butter. Especially the one with the, like, cloth over his eye in the middle of the top row. Yeah. Uh, he's like, I don't know what to do, but I have to go to war. I have to feed my family. They all look like Hagrid. That's a pretty good comparison. Yeah. That's pretty good. They all look like Robbie Coltrane. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. <laughs> uh, we're talking more about these models that we hate than we are about the game that we love. <laughs> uh, but there's uh, more! Uh, <laughs> See, these are Doom Seekers who are also Slayers, but they're allowed to not have Mohawks, apparently. And these look slightly better. They're metal. These are metal. They look slightly better than the other yeah. terrible, terrible ones. Except for the one guy at the bottom, because he still has red hair. <laughs> Uh, classic Dwarf War engines. I like how this guy's got the crank, so you're clearly supposed to put him right here, but they didn't bother. Just yeah, put him on his own base. a huge gap. <laughs> got the grudge thrower, the bolt thrower. Uh, same with the guy in the back. He has a little lever. They actually attached him, though. Uh, that might be perspective. Maybe. And yeah, the bolt thrower's good. Cannon. First down. <laughs> that... Oh, I guess that's powder. I was about to say that shell doesn't fit in that barrel. It does not. That might be a flame. That's a flame cannon, not a oh, cannon. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flame so that's cannon. just flamethrower. And then the and then the coolest model on this. I was gonna say whole page. I forgot Necromunda was the coolest model in the dwarf range. I like how we had to have a before and after photo. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, yes, this thing throws axes ridiculously. <laughs> the goblin hewer. Zoom, 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 zoom. I love. I, I actually really like that model. It's, it's a really fun idea. <clears throat> this is. They just added this to Total War Warhammer. Really? In the most recent update, where it only has like three shots, but it does in a stupid amount of damage. Hell yeah! <laughs> and then the guys just grab the axes and run into battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Anvil of Doom. I, I like the guy with the. Yeah. The guy that has a dwarf-looking. Uh, what is it called? Welding mask. Welding mask. Yeah. That's what it is. And then Bugman and his donkey cart. Oh, I hate this. The donkey is so um square. And late, but better late than never, it's I, the sister's data sheet cards. I'm going to be real with you. I didn't realize this was delayed. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered this when I saw it. And some Black Library stuff. That's actually a great Culkin cover. So that's it for this week. Heck of a week. If you're somebody who likes Old World and Necromunda, this probably sucks for you. Yep. If you're somebody who bought Skaventide, likes Old World Dwarves and Necromunda, like, Good luck making your mortgage payment next week, I guess, yeah. because you probably sold a kidney to pay for all this. Obviously, I am super, super excited for Hive Secundus. Yes, I agree. I will be buying this. I don't care how much it is. But I mean, please don't be $300. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell her. <laughs> um, despite, okay, so you are correct. The only thing that I look at this and go, I wish there was this, is more terrain. But it has the built in like passageways and yeah. doors and all that stuff so it is still playable which is great this is motivating me to get off my butt and finish building and painting my Your tiles house. yeah because i've got them i need to finish them and of course the, the i'm mostly here for the minis though oh yeah the minis like, are amazing i don't play gene stealer cults in necromunda but i guess i'm gonna yeah so f from what they've been saying on the little bits that they've been giving us the gene stealer cults and the uh mal strain are two different factions yeah because they're literally two different strains of it, the genes it makes sense so i don't know how how exactly that's going to interact but I, interact but i guess we're going to find Here's out the thing you week. could you, there's nothing in here you could not just use that's for true. gene stealers like here you could use these as cultists if you wanted to Easily. or hive, hired hive scum the, the little floaty guys maybe not uh there aren't gene stealers and gene stealer cults though in, in there are not full so, gene stealers. You so those would be a like abominance yeah you could do that that's i didn't think about that yeah yeah you see this as abominance especially the, oh they're just they're so cool <laughs> they're very cool all yeah. right i love them a lot so we're done geeking out for this week let us know <laughs> below if you're excited about any of this as well Stay tuned for the Necromundown this week as we release our House Deluxe video tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The last of the Hive. Or the Hive. The last of the main six. <laughs> the uh, last of the Hive houses. Gangs, houses. Yes, yep. And then look forward to us going into the cops. And of course, as soon as we get our stuff for Hive Sagunas, we'll start letting you know our thoughts on it. Yeah. We'll just post a video that's just like a picture and ah! <laughs> it's just a short of Mitchell screaming. Yeah, sounds good. Write that down. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, I didn't hit start recording.